Throughout this course, I have edited a simple video using all of the main features that you can find within the Veed editing software. And in this lesson, I'm gonna show you how you can export your final product and invite others to collaborate right within the software itself. If you want to invite a team member or a colleague into your editing project, simply go to invite at the top of the screen. Here you can add their email address so they can gain access into the project. And once you've finished editing a video with Veed, it's time to export or share the final product. To start this final part of the process, begin by choosing export in the top right and select one of the export presets. I'm gonna choose HD, but there are lots of different options for different destinations. If you've added subtitles to your video, make sure this switch is turned on and a blue color is showing and then press export video. Once the video is rendered, you'll be taken onto the video view page where your video is now securely hosted on Veed. And we can now review the final product by pressing play. Hello everyone, my name is Ryan and welcome to my video. Today I want to show you some footage from my trip to the beach, which was a really great day out with some really amazing views. So I hope you enjoy it. If you notice anything that you want to change, you can very easily get back into the editor by going to the top of the screen and selecting edit video. On the video view page, your video will be set as unlisted by default, meaning that anybody with a link can view your video. But to change this, you can press share to open up some other privacy options. To keep your video completely private from anybody else, just click the switch and it will now show your video as private, which means only you can access it. If your video is unlisted, you can also copy your video link to share with others, just like other video hosting services. Or you can send an email directly to someone by pasting their email address into the box and pressing share. In the social tab, you can share your video directly to various social media platforms. And Veed videos can also be embedded onto other websites. In the embed tab, you can choose how you want your embedded video to look. Then you just need to copy and paste the link into your website and it will play directly from its new location. If your video is unlisted, people with access can also leave comments and notes over on the right hand side, which is a great way to collaborate and get feedback from team members or colleagues. You can also view or generate a transcription in the next tab. And once again, you can change your privacy settings in this drop down menu just underneath the video window. And finally, there are several different options for downloading your final product. Select download and you'll see that you can download an MP4 video, an animated GIF, or MP3 audio just by clicking on your preferred option. Now back in the main workspace, your project will appear in the recent videos section and opening up the all files page, you can also reorganize past projects into folders to make them much easier to find later on. In the next and final lesson, we're gonna take a look at how you can resize your video projects and use video templates to create some seriously eye-catching results.